We are down here in southern Texas. This field has a particular tree crop in it called pangamia. And in a couple of years when this tree grows up, it'll produce uh, a seed crop, kind of like nuts. But our seeds have high oil content, and that oil is extremely well suited for the production of biofuel. The tree is considered native to both India and Australia. We are the pioneers of this particular crop here in the U.S. We've cultivated particular sets of genetics of this tree that are going to be well suited to grow in really harsh conditions and produce a lot of these seeds that can be used for oil. It can tolerate some extremely difficult soils. These are heavy clay soils here that the tree is growing in and it's so dry it's like rocks. And the trees are very effective rooters so they can get down into the soil, they can find nutrients, they can find water. Land out here might be $2,000 an acre in the Midwest, it might be $9,000 an acre. But to come down here and and basically take that $2,000 an acre land, put these trees on it, and turn it into uh, an income stream going forward eight or nine years from now, very comparable to the best central Illinois farmland that there is. From an investor standpoint, um, it's a very intriguing business model. The trees are harvested using automated equipment, uh, the kinds of equipment that are already being used for nut crops like pecans or almonds. Uh, once those seeds are harvested, they are sent to a local processor, preferably using existing facilities that are already down here to crush other oil seeds. Oil is very easily crushed out, and once you have the oil, uh, that oil can be sent uh, to an existing biodiesel refinery or to any other existing kind of refinery. And those refineries can use that oil without modification. So all of that means we can produce you know, up to 1,000 gallons an acre uh, from these trees at a cost of a dollar a gallon. This can be an alternative to fossil fuels. Uh, we can compete uh, on a price point with petroleum oil. Um, I humbly believe that we're going to be among the earlier scalable and low-cost solutions in biofuels, so I think we'll produce hundreds of millions of gallons of fuel, um, but that still isn't a big amount of the total amount of fossil fuels or petroleum that we use. We're going to be one part of the solution, so at a 100,000 acre scale, we can be about 10% of the country's biodiesel supply. Uh, and, and probably even more if we think um, further out.